Preparing an annual balanced budget is one of our essential tasks in local government. This is the first year I've had the pleasure of overseeing the budget process as the Sarasota City Manager. One of the major highlights of this proposed budget is that it includes a rollback rate of 3.13 mills for the ad valorem property taxes. This means that even with an increase in property values, city taxpayers will pay the same amount as they did the year before. As our local economy continues to recover from the pandemic, reducing the millage rate and holding property taxes steady is one way we are helping families that may be struggling to meet ends meet. It has been a challenging year and a half for many of us, including local governments. But our city employees have worked very hard to provide the same high level of service to our residents and visitors, and that will continue under this proposed budget. We've budgeted a healthy amount of reserve funds in case any other unforeseen challenges come our way. And we're also using federal funds from the American Rescue Plan to launch some exciting new projects that will beautify the streetscape on Main Street, enhance connectivity to the new Legacy Trail, improve efficiency and transparency in our day-to-day -day operations, and bring free Wi-Fi to four city parks. I appreciate the direction and support of our city commissioners, who will hold a second public hearing on the budget on September the 21st at City Hall before its final adoption and I encourage you to check out the full proposed budget, which is now available on the city's website. I'm City Manager Marlon Brown. Until next time, be safe.